All right, what's going on guys? Um, so basically today, I'm just gonna give you a, like, a little walk around of the uh, Honda Civic wagon. Um, haven't really gone into too much detail on exactly um, what the plans for it, what the purpose of it is. So I'm just gonna kind of show you that guys today and then just kind of show you what I've done so far on it just to kind of make sure we're all up to speed on the build and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of walk around the car, point out some stuff, and we'll kind of go from there. Alright, so just to kind of let you guys know again, this is a 1991 Honda Civic wagon with the uh, real-time four-wheel drive. Um, so basically when I got it, it was just a, uh, it was still like a four-wheel drive model and everything, but it was on cut springs, which were supposedly supposed to be like SI springs, and then um, still had the regular viscous coupler, which we'll kind of get to here in a second on exactly what I'm talking about there. But um, basically it was my first car that I bought on my own that, um, that like my parents didn't really help me with or anything like that, so got to learn a lot of stuff on it, and it's a pretty awesome car. So. Basically when I got it, like I said, it was on cut springs, crappy tires, so it was a nice little winter beater and basically what I had to do in order for it to pass emissions is actually swap the catalytic converters with, at the point I had like another 97 Honda Civic, so I swapped the catalytic converters and that's basically how I got it to pass the emissions. Um, so since that point, you know, it was on blown shocks, cut springs. So what I did was um, go onto the Civic Wagon forums and I actually found like a post where they do like a two inch lift on these things, um, which is pretty cool by putting like a core front suspension on it and then Acura Integra rear suspension. Um, so I got that taken care of and it was pretty awesome then because I could, you know, do little off-road adventures and stuff like that and not get stuck or anything. Um, but so basically going from the top to the bottom now, I got the uh, Thule, or Thule, whatever, however you want to say it, um, roof rack with the uh, extender here. So it basically covers the whole roof of the car um, and when I open up this hatch it like just barely touches on this back part which isn't too bad and then um, I've also just got these uh, visors they can like get off eBay or pretty much anywhere now I don't know if they have to be like wagon specific or not and then um, also as far as like the interior of the car um, I've got it set up with the uh, Acura Integra, Integra um, DA seats, which are really comfortable. One of them actually has like a little lumbar support knob here, which is pretty cool. Um, but besides that, the interior is pretty much stock. I kind of made my own floor mats by going to like Home Depot and just like cutting them out. So they look better than not having any at all. And I did that for the front and rear, so the rear it has it a little floor mat there as well which looks kind of nice um, trying to think if there's anything else in the interior that I've done oh so in the back of the hatch here um, kind of made my own little you know hatch cover there so that you know nobody could see what I had in the back here if, if I had anything valuable, which I don't usually keep anything in there because it's a Honda and no spare, um, spare jack, all that kind of stuff. Replace the struts too is probably one of the first things I did when I bought the car because basically it came with a stick that you'd put like from the bumper down here to the top to keep it open. I was not having any of that, so got new struts in there now, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, this side has a little bit of damage. Um, it looks like the previous owner may have like sideswiped it a little bit. And obviously, you can see some rust. And this fender is not looking so good at all. And then, I guess other than that, um, one of the next modifications I did was put the uh, E30 bottle cap wheels on. 
um, which I still like. I actually have another set of them for like my uh, rallycross tires. And then also with this, we got a this little race hood pin deals because before it had like the little metal ones that stick out of the hood and, and they're kind of rusty and looking nasty so I got those replaced um, we got the clear corner light set up uh, just kind of did that off eBay and then also another eBay item is going to be this front little bull bar here which yes I know there is a dent and really I mean if you take a look at the whole car I mean it kind of suits it I don't really plan on fixing it, um, maybe sometime in the future if I really want to try to restore it, but otherwise, don't ask me to fix it, I'm not going to fix it. Um, and then as far as like shocks, it's got uh, KYB shocks all the way around. Um, it's got actually AGXs in the front, and then just like the regular uh, daily ones in the back, I think it's like a G-Shock or whatever the brand model number is. Um, t -t 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 uh, well, also when I bought it, the uh, muffler was shot, so <laughs> went on to Rock Auto, got a replacement, um, just a Bozel one, so it's a good brand, but um, I didn't want it to sound like a, you know, ricey, riced out Honda being loud and obnoxious, so just went with stock, and then um, as far as everything else, Got new drum uh, brake or brake shoes in the back. Um, the front brake system is pretty much all brand new. Rotors, pads, I think it's like Stop Tech or something like that. It's, uh, the Rock Auto brand, which is it's drilled and slotted. The light's not that good, so I'm not even gonna try to look in there. But um, let's see. The actual drive shaft on this thing has a uh, welded viscous coupler now probably thinking man why is this idiot doing that well um, since I do like the rally cross with it, um, it makes it a lot more predictable when I am uh, you know taking turns and stuff like that and if you have it in four-wheel drive and you're trying to just drive it out here on the streets um, get a, it gets a lot of four-wheel drive bind um, so sort of if you were to um, you know drive a truck in four-wheel drive it's the same thing basically so um, there's a little lever underneath the hood that you can actually turn it on the two-wheel drive. It's pretty much only for towing purposes, but um, it does fine. don't have any issues with it, which is kind of nice. Um, t -t 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 -t. But yeah, it's pretty awesome because I actually take it out to the sand dunes and stuff like that, which you can actually check all my videos out on my channel and actually see me, you know, wheeling this thing, which is pretty funny. Um, get some crazy looks out there when I am. But I mean, fairly than that, it's it's pretty stock. Um, the motor had like 250,000 miles, so over the winter this year, I actually swapped it out with a like a JDM ZC single overhead cam motor. Um, supposedly has like 120 horsepower, like 10 more horsepower than the stock versions, which eh, when I drove it around, it doesn't feel that too much more impressive. So. Um, but now it's a lot more reliable, it doesn't burn oil, because uh, before when I had the old motor in there, it'd be like every 500 miles I'd have to put a quart in it and it was awful. Um, and then besides that, uh, I do have like a little ghetto intake system, which I'll probably show you guys here in a second. But other than that, the motor's pretty much stock, um, everything else as far as performance is stock don't really have a whole lot it's just been doing things here and there um, today I actually placed an order for some uh, legit rally tires which is gonna be pretty cool um, so that when we go out to nationals this year it should be pretty fun get some extra grip and then uh, also got some new camber arms for the front oh and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is in the rear of the car um, it actually has a Megan camber arms on it um, I think they're pretty generic as far as not being specific to the wagon all wagon at all, but yeah, um, I'm trying to just think if there's anything else, but, um, as far as like plans, what I have for this thing, I want to make it, you know, the best rally car I can make it pretty much at this point. So 
the two inch lift on it that it has right now you know definitely helps during the events when they when the track start get starts getting rutted out um, the two inch lift you know helps it clear those bumps and rocks and stuff like that which I'll probably be putting like a, a skid plate underneath the front of the car so I got a construction sign that I snagged and um, should make do pretty well um, but I mean other than that that's pretty much it um, I'll try to think of anything else that I did to the car but it's fairly stock just been kind of rebuilding it whatever breaks you know put new parts on and uh, that's just how I've been going about it. It's just been my daily driver for a while now. And um, oh, uh, one more thing I'm forget to mention is uh, as far as the motor mounts, you guys probably seen in my previous videos, but I actually have like Hasport motor mounts on there, which it's not the best um, because it's they're like rated for like 800 horsepower, which this thing's probably only making 100 by now. But um, it rattles. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say that um, for for short. But um, I mean, that's pretty much only when it warms up. Once it warms up, it's pretty okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got HID headlights, and I think that's about it, honestly. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys have any other questions or concerns um, on the Civic Wagon. I know there's a couple people asking me questions about you know just general stuff. You know, don't. You know, don't be shy on leaving a comment on the video. I'll definitely respond with you. And then, um, yeah, let me go ahead and just uh, show you the engine bay here before I end the video. And then, um, yeah, I'll show that to you now. Okay, so here's basically the engine bay that we have going on here. Um, like I said, it's just the ZC motor. Um, we actually got like a, it's like an Amazon aluminum radiator for the Civic. So I had to make these little custom mounts here here but um wasn't too hard fans they kind of just mount up with the you know top two bolts that we have there a little custom battery bracket because when i bought it, it didn't have one and then here's this uh little ghetto intake system this is actually off like an ek um like d16 y8 um civic because the one i had before had a rip in it so I just swapped the leftover one that I had left over here um, I think that's pretty much it though as far as uh, it being stock and then as far as like putting in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive um, probably won't be able to see it but down in here there's like a little lever that you can actually turn to uh, put in two-wheel or all-wheel or and you know definitely helps out and here's these has sport motor mounts that just are rattly as can be pretty much um, but the KYB shocks you can kind of see from under here they have like little adjustments on like the tip there so you can move it however you want to like stiffen it up or soften it um, but yeah that's pretty much it as for right now um, so basically at this point um, just let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns on the build. Kind of started up here for you guys just so you can hear, I don't know, running to make sure that I'm not, I don't have some junk car or something. So, no clutch blood alive. There's the rattle. Um, but like I said, it's really only bad like when you're uh, just getting the car warmed up at like the high RPMs around like 2,000. It's when it likes to do it but um yeah here's our little v16 z6 kind of just warming up here runs really nice little exhaust system doesn't really make too much noise Yeah, but basically the, the, most, the most noise I get out of this thing is pretty much the intake. Um, whenever I'm revving it up and stuff like that, you can definitely hear this thing roar, but I'll just try to give you a little sample. It's 
pretty fun little car to drive around. Um, definitely get a lot of people asking about it and uh, seem to like it and everything. But um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else to show you guys. Um, but yeah, there's definitely more to come. I've got a few more things I want to start making videos on this thing about. So definitely, uh, you know, stay tuned, subscribe for more, like the video, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you in the next one.